everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body Beat Down here on this hump day afternoon. It's uh, 4:20 p.m. to be precise. Uh, I was fixing to work out, and then I remembered my wife let me know that the trunk on the car was having an issue and it's not wanting to latch so the latch is broke i went out there and tried to mess with it but it just said they wanted to work so i ordered a new one it'll be here next week meanwhile had to fasten a bungee cord down to the inside of the trunk and pull it through the seats and try to tie it on and wrap it off to something that would keep the trunk kind of held down Always something, guys. Always going to be something. So, today is incline dumbbell press and uh, some dumbbell preacher curls. And uh, nothing new. You've seen me do this before. So, if you don't want to watch, go ahead and watch. Or if you do want to watch, go ahead and watch. So, whichever. So, uh... Yeah, let's get this going and get the day over with and uh, then we can relax and move on to yet another day. So we're going to start out with the 50 pound dumbbells and of course as you know we're going to work our way up to the 100s. Yes, I can do a lot of sets and reps and all that with the 100s. So it's not all that amazing anymore and I've been able to move them like that for many years. But I don't have the money to go out and buy 150 pound dumbbells. So it is what it is. And uh, they still give me a good workout. Even if I've moved them for 25 years, uh, those 100 pound dumbbells still give me an amazing workout. So some days they're still really tough. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road or uh, in this room, wherever, it, wherever we are. Let's get going here and. Uh, get the workout started so I hope you enjoy guys and uh, let's do this Set number two. Thank you. 
set number three. 100 pound dumbbells. Last set. All right, guys, and there we go. Another workout over and done in the books on this hump day. Uh, chest went as planned as usual. And uh, the biceps, uh, I only did four sets. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I only did four sets, went up to 50. Uh, I always have six sets wrote down, but I only did four. Uh, I did the same thing on triceps on Monday. I only did four sets. Uh, thing is, is I'm going to do bicep and tricep twice this week so oddly enough I'm going to hit biceps tomorrow do some concentration curls and then on Friday we're going to hit triceps again with chest so you get plenty of work done uh, throughout the week if you can plan it that way and kind of uh, stick some things here and there that's what she said and anyway so pretty good workout nothing crazy nothing amazing but again, uh, it is, it's just a part of that building block, you know, that what we're trying to achieve. That's what each workout is. And uh, something that uh, I got to thinking about, I was looking at my buddy John, uh, his videos, and, and I look at his videos every day and I support his channel, uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. Go check him out. And I got to thinking, and you know, and he brings it up in his videos quite often about his views and his, you know, uh, people taking part in, in the videos and comments and all this kind of stuff and how it's kind of dwindled down a lot on YouTube. And, uh, and, and I can see where that might come from. Uh, a big portion of his following came from when he, 
he lifted 480 pounds or 460, 480, 474, benched, you know, he benched that much. And, the, you know, those videos exploded and got him going really popular and, you know, exploded overnight. But here's the thing. Uh, since that point, he's had a, a few times where he's been hit and uh, taken out of the game a little bit, be it from, you know, different different you know, sicknesses that he's had to maybe an injury or, or whatever, whatever the case may be, or maybe he's just, you know, not feeling it. And he's kind of, you know how we get sometimes, sometimes we get kind of under the weather and kind of, we lose our drive for a little while. And I kind of noticed that over the past year or so, uh, you know, a lot of his, a lot of his viewers, a lot of his uh, interaction online and all that kind of stuff has kind of faded away, not faded away, but it's went down considerably from where it was. And uh, my opinion on that is, you know, yeah, it's great and, and amazing to jump in there while the, while the train is on full steam ahead and he's benching 400 plus pounds and killing it in the gym and doing everything that he does. But what about that downtime? What about that downtime that people get? That he's had where he's needed people you know to support him to to say come on john you can do it uh, you know he don't get that like he should and, and a lot of people don't you know you should be there ready to uh, uh help people when they're struggling like you are when they're doing great and uh, that's just something i had kind of pop in my mind just a little while ago and uh yeah so you know, whenever you see people that are, they, they've been kind of hit with the old one-two punch, maybe, you know, go back and look at some videos and see what's led up to this, and maybe you can see what's happened, and maybe uh, just give them a good comment or something. Let them know, you know, you're there and you're watching and you support them, and because uh, any, any kind of support helps, you know. Uh, it's not always just about how many subs people can get and likes and all this kind of stuff it's about interaction with people and uh the things that you know you might could say that can brighten someone's day so anyhow and that goes for anybody you know online and in the real world you need to pay attention to these things and uh, cause there's a lot of people out there struggling you might not pay attention to it so anyhow uh we're gonna end this video and uh we're going to go get something to eat, or I'm going to go get something to eat. Uh, don't know what I'm going to have. Chicken something. So, uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing back and biceps. And uh, be prepared for that because it's going to be amazing. Simply amazing. While you're at it, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your amazing host on this hump day. And don't forget... Get up, get out, get rad, do a tune, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. See ya. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it!